Hey guys, it's Doc, and I'm going to warn you right now, this is not one of my normal videos. <laughs> this is not a yard care video. Here's the funny thing that happened. My wife started talking to a few of her friends and people at work about um, a wireless video camera system that I installed at the house, and of course all the questions came up. So instead of talking to 10 different people, I decided to go ahead and break the system down and say why I got the system I got and a few little tricks to order it. So if you don't need a wireless video system, don't watch this video. Talk to you later. <laughs> Come back to the channel later. But here's why I got this system. Number one, the company was just bought out by Amazon, which makes it really good as far as customer service, support, and inventory levels. Number two, price. When you go to those uh, like video doorbell systems, they can run 200 to 400 dollars, and you're just looking at your front door. I wanted a video camera system that shot basically the entire outside of my house, and I wanted a camera inside my house, and I wanted to customize that. Plus, I didn't want to have to pay monthly charges. In other words, I didn't want storage charges. I didn't want monthly charges. I just wanted the system to run 100% off my internet or my wireless system, and that's what this does. So I'll walk through this in the beginning stages, kind of mild, and then I'll go deeper into the deeper into the setup of it. But I'm also going to include a screenshot of some of the settings and, and things you can do with the cameras on the phone. So anyways, I wanted to give a little a little preface to this video before I actually got to the video. So let's start the video. Okay, so first off, in the description below there's going to be a link to a web page and we have a website and I'll put specific links and tips right on that page so you can see exactly what you need to buy because there are some there are some accessories that I think you should get there's a different mount they the cameras come with one mount and if you're going to mount it in a different way you're going to need a different mount and the way that you buy this system is the important part of it so don't buy it before you watch this video and understand the links below so first of all let me show you why i'm not knocking them a lot of people have the video doorbells number one they're starting to get ripped off people are ripping them off and selling them secondhand number two i don't want just to look a visual out the door that's not what i wanted I wanted to be able to have a visual that was shooting back towards the front door to got my front windows and the front door. I wanted to have my driveway, my truck. I wanted to have the backyard. I wanted to have a camera inside the house and I wanted to be I wanted to be able to control every single one of those cameras. In other words, I want my front door camera on 24 hours a day, but I don't want my driveway when I'm going in and out of the garage all day sending me stupid videos all day or the dogs out back sending me dog videos all day. I didn't want that. So that was the one fix that I had to do and I'll, sh I'll, talk, I'll talk about that fix here in one second. But real quick, let me show you just some of the locations that I have my cameras. Now keep in mind, I have a full security home system. I have a real high tech home security system. Even though we live in a really safe neighborhood, I still have a home security system. This is an addition to that because to set off my security system, you got to break into my house. And what I wanted to do is I wanted just that extra peace of mind to say, what if someone's coming up and looking at my windows? <laughs> What if they're in my back, come into my backyard at night and I'm not aware of it and they don't break in, but they're scoping out my house. So let me show you where I'm putting up my cameras real quick. So if I had a doorbell security camera, this is all I would see right here. That's it. Wouldn't see anything else. However, because I have my system mounted up here, no one really sees it and it gives me full coverage. So it'll cover my front door and my front windows all over here. So another camera I have is out here on the back deck. If I want to monitor this whole back area, all these windows, all these doors, if I want to monitor the back deck area, if I wanted to actually have it shoot out towards the backyard, I could do that as well too. So how many of us would like to have a camera that anytime we have a vehicle parked outside, anytime someone came near the vehicle, or if someone pulled up in the driveway, would alert us. So in the corner of my garage over here, I have another camera. So let's say I'm missing Linda. They say I'm missing Linda. I can actually mount a security camera up here, up in the corner of my living room, and I can have inside cameras and see what she's doing all day. Or I can talk to her, she can talk to me back. All right, so let's get to the guts of this. Number one, 
Later in this video, so I don't bore you, I'll go over all the features, I'll go over the quality of the video, I'll go up to night video, I'll go daytime video. But essentially, what you're gonna do is you're gonna order a camera system. Now this is the Blink X-T2 system, and you can order it multiple ways, but I think the way you order it's really important, and you gotta understand how it works. All right, so these are the Blink cameras. This is, you just mount that up, it has two batteries inside of it. The batteries last for approximately two years, depending on the usage. This has illumination, this has motion sensor, this has audio, so there's a speaker on the bottom, so you can listen and you can talk. So if I wanna to talk to someone, I can talk to someone. It all works through an app on your phone. You can watch, look at all these cameras at any time. So if I wanna go, if I, and I label these cameras, so this was on my front door, I'm getting ready to reprogram it with the new hack that I'm talking about. This was on my front door. So I can pull it up on my phone and I can touch the live button. When I touch the live button, it's gonna show me a live video of what's going on right there. There's a talk button, I can talk, so I can talk to whoever's at the front door if I wanna talk. If I have dogs and I wanna to talk to my dogs inside, I can talk to the dogs inside if I want to. So that's a nice feature. It's not just a video capture, but you can interact with all these cameras at any time. They all have schedules, they all have quality controls, they all have setting controls. Endless, endless configuration except for one feature. So this is, this is the camera and it goes outside. Now understand how this works. This is the controller. So you're gonna get one controller for all the cameras that you order. So the way that I initially ordered it, which was the wrong way, is I ordered three cameras with one controller. The camera does all the video functions and the camera talks to your Wi-Fi. So the camera has its own independent Wi-Fi connection. The videos are delivered through that Wi-Fi connection. Does that make sense? Next, the, this also talks to the controller. All the cameras all around talk to this one central controller. And why is that? It's because the controller holds all of the settings and functions. So whatever your settings are for the cameras, it's all held here. So this is the brain as far as the settings. The camera is simply just a camera that's sending video back and forth. And this tells it, here are your settings. I want you on at this schedule. I want you to take this type of video. I want the illumination or not the illumination. I want the video for five seconds. I want the video for 30 seconds. I want the sensitivity control. All that stuff is controlled for all the cameras through this box. And all the cameras talk to this box. Here's the one hack that you need to understand. When you go to the link, when you go to the description below, it's going to take you to a link. And on that link, you're going to see several different options. Figure out how many cameras that you want and order. If you want four cameras, order the three pack. The three pack will come with three cameras and the central controller box. These three cameras will talk to that central and that's a group. So that is a group of, of cameras. Here's the problem that I found is that like I said, I want to have some of these cameras on a different schedule. The problem being is that you can only have one schedule per box. That's the downfall. And I really wish that they would have an independent schedule for each one of the cameras. I'm hoping, I know it'll take a long time for a software update, um, but eventually they, they'll probably have a software update because I'm gonna send them this video. And that's the only thing that would be the, to keep this from being the absolute perfect system. But I'm gonna show you a trick for, for about 30 bucks, you can get that feature anyway. So if you want four cameras, what are you gonna order? If you want four cameras, you're gonna order a three camera set. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna order another camera, a one camera set. So a camera plus a controller, and why is that? Because now what I can do is I can set this one camera and this on a separate schedule. So I'll have two controllers, they just they just plug in little USB into a power outlet. So this will have its own schedule and these, this camera and any camera that's on this box, let's say is on 24 hours a day. The rest of my cameras, let's say I want the rest of my, these cameras, I want these with its own controller. I only want them on at night. So from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. is the only time I want these on. So I'll set up a different schedule with that. They'll all work through the one app. You, you'll be able to see two systems on your app. So it's not like you have to have two apps or on there, but you can add two systems on that one app and it works kind of like one. So it all controls under one app, but that allows you to set the different controls in there. Um, same thing, like as an example, 
if you wanted to have inside cameras that weren't activated, you just wanted to check on the pets once in a while, but you wanted to have outside cameras that were on a different schedule, you could do that too. So that's, that's the one little fix on this thing that I really think is important. All right, so let's talk about price for a minute because I think that's really important. This system has all the features or more than all the other systems. The quality is there, everything is there, um, but you can order the three camera system with a controller for $199, including shipping, plus another camera and another controller for $79. So for $278 delivered, you'll have four cameras total and two controllers. So you'll be able to have two systems on that one app and there's no monthly charges. Remember, this is all done via your wireless system and the little cloud that they have. So there are no monthly uh, charges, there are no storage charges, it's all free, so you pay 278 bucks, and you get all four cameras and two controllers. That's a really good deal. It's a great deal for a home, for a business, inside the house, outside the house, whatever. Really good value. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go real high tech on you here. <laughs> I'm sitting at my desk and I got a dog blanket on my bed, on my desk, because all these pieces are black and they won't show up on my black desk. But here's the system. So this is the system as this is plugged in now. And all the way that it works is they all have these reader codes on the back. So I'll show you the little reader codes. And all you do is, is when you install the Blink app, pull a Blink here for a minute, anytime you add a device, it's going to take a picture of that. So in, as an example, I have already added this, which is my second controller. After you attach this, I'll give you a warning that um, after you attach this, this will automatically update the firmware, which takes about a minute or two. So just be aware of that after you add it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I am going to, I have my batteries out of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my batteries back in. Removing the batteries out of this resets this camera, by the way. If you unplug this box or lose power, it does not reset it. So once you, that's why if you ever have to reset and try and reestablish a connection or move it somewhere, there is a reset button. But this will remember all your settings. So I'm going to add a device. It's just asking me to add a device. So I'm going to get ready. It's going to access my camera. Click that. So I'm going to go ahead and it's going to take a picture. Boom. It took a picture of it. And it says looking for your camera. So right now it's looking for my camera. Actually, it just said camera added successfully because I already added this camera once. Maybe it understands the firmware is up to date. I push done. Okay, so what I'm going to do is you can go in here. It has a number on it, so I can tap that number, and now I can rename that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this camera as front, F-R-O-N-T. Okay, so that camera is front. So now what I want to do to keep, if I want to keep from getting confused, if once I mount this camera, I can push picture, and it's going to take a picture of a beautiful, the world's most beautiful man. There it is. So there's the world's most beautiful man uh, filming this great video here. And so now that'll be my sort of screenshot telling me what that camera is. So once I install it, I can take a picture. Now the other nice thing about that is, is that'll show you how to position it too. So if you want to move it around, you can change the position. But now I know. So let me show you the, the, the cool thing about this. So now I'm going to go, I have two systems on here. I know it might be hard to see, but I have two systems on here. I have home and I have front. So right now I'm on front. So if I go to the home system, you can see that I have my driveway and I have my back deck cameras there. So I touch here and I go to the front. And now I have the front door, well, which is me right now. So now each one of these has an independent schedule. So if I want to go in, if I want to set the schedules on this, the front, I go in here, front, uh, manage front, manage all devices, scheduling. So now I can go into scheduling and I can change the schedule of when I want this camera to operate. Okay, so these are the mounts that it comes with. So you screw this into the wood and then this mount screws into this mount here and they just snap into the back. So these little cameras just sort of just pop, they just pop into the back here. It's kind of weird feeling because they just sort of snap in. Well, this is fine if you just want to do a side mount somewhere, 
but if you want to do an underneath mount um, it doesn't really work well so I'm gonna put a link to the extenders the swivel extender mounts that I got I ordered uh, a whole set of three for all my cameras but that's basically it it just sort of just pops in there just like that and it mounts it's a real simple mounting system it just sort of just pops in and out now the one thing I've learned especially from um, using outdoor game trail cameras is that a lot of times when you have a big storm these cameras can get a little foggy and misty so I'll put a link to these little silicone covers here so all this does is the silicone cover just slides in like this covers up the system and I think these are pretty cool and it gives a little hood I don't know if you can see that or not but it has a little hood feature to it and so that'll keep it that'll make it even more waterproof and holds the back on firmly in case the back were ever pop off so I recommend those little silicone hoods they're cheap the mounts the swivel mounts are cheap the hoods cheap that's it just snaps on and now you can go ahead and we'll loosen this up so you open up your blank cap you go into the system that you want to remember I have two systems I have a home the overall home and then I have a front so remember I put the world's most beautiful man on there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a new picture so I'm just gonna touch take a snapshot and it's gonna take a picture now of what it's actually seeing here and so that's what it's seeing now so now that's why I'm standing here talking to my camera and that's what it's seeing. Alright, so now I've got this camera all installed. You can see I've taken a new picture. I like the way that the settings are. But what's of course what's nice about it, if I ever want to look, let's say I want to look inside at the dogs, if I have an inside camera, if I want to see someone, or I hear a doorbell ring and this thing goes off, I can bring it up and I can actually talk to them too. So Okay guys, so let me just show you this. This is my home system. So this is my first system. So I have my driveway, I have the back porch. If I had inside cameras, all my cameras are here. <clears throat> this is on one schedule, which is gonna run during the night. If I go to the front system, now I have a front camera or the other cameras that I want on here. Does that make sense? I can go to this camera settings and I can change anything I want. It'll tell me the temperature, the battery life, the clip length, um, it'll run through the speaker volume, the video quality, everything is, all that's inside the camera. So I'm going to push cancel on that. If I want to go to a live view and see what I'm seeing right now, just touch live view. It's going to spin for probably a few seconds, and then it's going to show me a live picture of what this camera is actually seeing. Hello there, good looking. Hello there, good looking. Hey man. Hey man. All right. And then it also has a talk feature where I can talk to this camera too. I just hold that and talk, but it's going to echo. All right. So now I'm just going to walk around and I'm going to trigger the cameras. Um, one of the things I like about this system is that when my wife comes home at night, if I'm in the office, usually I have to keep looking out my window and bending around. When she comes home, if I have this on, it'll trigger and I can see who's pulling in the, in the driveway. By the way, it's trash day tomorrow, so I got all my trash pulled out of my garage, sorry. So I'm just gonna walk around. I'm just gonna leave my phone just like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little blue light that goes off when the camera triggers, so you know that the camera's actually taking a video. And boom, there's a motion alert right there. Man, that was fast. I mean, that was fast. That was like three seconds fast. So now let's go to the back deck and let's do the back deck. Actually, while I'm here, let's go to the front door. I'm here for delivery. Boom, the blue light is on. The blue light is actually on right now. I think I have a 25 second clip, so it may, as long as that blue light is on, you can see that blue light is on. I think I have the clip length at about 25 seconds on the front because I want a longer clip on the front. Okay, that blue light just went off. And there's the next alert. So I got another alert. So let's go to the back. And let's see here. So if I come up, whoop, light just went on. So my light just went on on the camera. And I don't know, let me put the phone up next to it just so you can see. So the blue light is on. I think it's gonna take about a 25 second shot. My arms are gonna get tired. Let's see, the light goes off. 
boom, there's the alert. That's how quick it is. If I want to go look at these, all I do is I just touch open and it's going to bring up a clip and there it is. Here's the clip. So this is on my home system. So now let's go to the other video here and this should be... No, that's, and that's the uh, front. Now this should be the garage. So there it is. So those are all the videos. Um, again, if I want to go back, let's see, if I want to go back home, this is on home. If I want to go to the back deck, let's do a live view. Let's do live view. Again, the live view takes probably about seven seconds to bring up. Hey there, man. How you doing? Hey there, man. How you doing? What are you doing out here? What are you doing? What are you doing? And now I'm talking to that person out of my deck saying, what the hell are you doing? Close that out. So that's pretty cool. So like I said, this is my home system. I switch over to the front. There's the front system. One is on a one is on one schedule. Excuse me, one is on a schedule, the other one is not. It's on 24 hours a day. Hey guys, I'm inside again and let me just talk about the Wi-Fi real quick. You do have to have a Wi-Fi signal to hit all these cameras, just so you understand. So that's one consideration you need to take. Now I will tell you that one of my cameras on my back deck is only two bars. It's in the yellow, but I don't have any issues with transmission. And let me show you on the majority of these type camera systems run on 2.4 gigahertz routers. Even if you have a five gig router, that usually, that usually also piggybacks with a 2.4, let me show you. So I have a pretty nice router. I have a fairly new Netgear. It's a nice strong router, super strong signal. But you can see that I have a five gigahertz and I have a 2.4. So the camera systems run on this 2.4, not on the five. Even if you have a five gigahertz, you can check your router if you want, but almost all of them sub run a 2.4. Just a real quick note. Now this note, now this comment is for the programmers at Blink. And one thing I would like them to do is that I would like them to add a feature. When you go into your cameras, it shows you the Wi-Fi network, but there's no way to change the Wi-Fi network because your controller hub selects the Wi-Fi network and then your 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 it tells with the cameras which Wi-Fi network to use. But I would like to be able to use extenders, a Wi-Fi extender, and tell certain cameras which network, assign certain cameras to certain networks. Because when you have a Wi-Fi extender, it's usually treated as a different network. It's called, so like mine, if mine is um, network six, my Wi-Fi extender will be network six hyphen EXT or something like that. And so I'd like to be able to assign each one of my cameras independently a different Wi-Fi network. That's just a note for the program. So again, uh, for the overall quality and features, this is a phenomenal system for the money. Again, four cameras with two controllers, $278 delivered to your door. Phenomenal, cool, phenomenal. I, I'm just really, really impressed with this. I'm really glad I went with this system. In the description below, I'll put a link exactly to these cameras, to the extenders, and to those silicone covers. Just plan ahead, and you can always add cameras as well, too, later on. So if you decide, I'm just doing the outside, and later you say, well, I want to go on the inside, too, and you can put them on the inside. You can add them. 
uh, just as you go. Just sort of plan it out. Controller numbers versus camera numbers. Anyways, guys, hope that helped. Talk to you later. Bye.